Now, in true leadership, it's not something you collect as an office and keep since P2B came back from the from the from London. It has been from one of office to the other, one occasion to the other, up till now. Well, lately, I think yesterday he was with the um good luck Jonathan, and yes, they had a wonderful and amazing conversation from the inner part. Though I could not get you clips from that particular event, but I have something very unique for you on this one. This man actually break down a lot about Igbo presidency and while i always correct you guys that p2b is not an Igbo presidency instead is the cry of nigeria is the cry of true leadership someone who is dedicated to serving the country and not taking the office as a position of authority listen to him don't forget to subscribe yes, drop a comment the Yorubans hate us yet they they don't want us to be president let me tell you today president is not giving is negotiated it's not something you take by bully tactics. You will never use Unzobu Unzobu Enyim by any. We are doing in freedom fighting to use it to get to the center of this presidency. We are killing the candidacy of Peter. And that's why so many people are thinking that other people who have been so interested in having a different nation outside Nigeria in Igbo land are now removing their clothes to come in to campaign for Peter. And I'm telling you today, it will damage his candidacy. Let's be careful how we talk down on others. Somebody will say to me, Timothy, what do you say about what uh, Senator Remy is saying? Senator Remy is only one person. She's not speaking for the whole Yorubas. She's not speaking for Fanny Ferry. She's not speaking for Doino Kube. She's speaking for herself and she made that video 2019. And for crying out loud, she was even laughing. And those around her, we are laughing. Even though it's some disparaging and insulting do you truly think a pastor will invoke local gods will it work but some of us have taken it so serious and because we have taken it so serious now marketing peter most of the times can be very very disturbing okay so why not we come down why not we pipe down why not we loosen up a little bit why not we begin to see others the way they are seeing us all this persecution complex and everybody is against us we never help our tribe and i want once again never ever try to begin to say that peter will be represent the Igbos. it's not true he's a national candidate labor party is not abga it's not the regional party it's not the Igbo party the chairman of the of the party Julius Ebule, I've met him in person. He has come to my office to tell me the vision they are having. So I'm, I'm asking my evil brothers and sisters to calm down. Stop insulting people unnecessarily. Stop using mob attack and lynch attack on others just by thinking that they are stopping you from being president. Peter and his campaign team, including me and others, and you that are supporting him, have to do a lot. You have to do a lot to convince others to trust his candidacy, candidacy that is a national project. Nobody is against Igbos. I am tired of this. I'm being honest. Most of the time, when I read this, and even people who are educated, who should know better, I have asked any of them, the Yorubas, how do they hate you? In case you don't know, when Jankara Market was demolished by Jakande government in the early 80s that man gave the Igbos a parcel of virgin land on owners of fire and what Jaconde said is that if you people are going to clear this forest and build it take it for life he didn't take ten kobo from them and that is Ojalaba international market i have been a, a businessman at Ojalaba international market they gave it to us. Alaba market is generating annually more than almost a trillion naira. From Ojo, if you know Ojo very, very well, from Volkswagen down to Ajangbadi, is giving generation of Igbos plenty money in dollars, in pounds, in euro, given to us by a citizen of Lagos called Latif Jaconde. May God bless his soul. When we go now under the bridge, what we call trade fair market, where they have trade fair, there are 14 Igbo businesses 
that are in that trade fair. 14 business unions. The one we call Balogu or the people that are into beauty products. I was the person that dedicated it the day it was dedicated. It was the idea. Yorubas give us land. Anytime we want land, they give it to us. Most of the economy and development we are seeing in Igbo land are coming from diaspora. Most of this money came from Lagos. There has never been a time there is a riot in Lagos and Yoruba has begun to burn the property of Igbos. Tell me when it happened. They can burn their own, but they can preserve our own. During the civil war, every tribe that is so near to Ibos, including the Ikwere in Port Harcourt, sees our properties. They call it abandoned property. Our next door neighbors, people that even speak the same Igbo with us, you know, be Igbo. They change everything and seize the property still today. Tell me one single property of Igbo that was seized by the Yorubas after the war. We went back and reclaimed our properties. They kept it for us. In fact, uh, one of Emeka Anyoku said that a man, a Yoruba man that his neighbor, when he ran away and his family, he kept their property and was collecting rent for him throughout the Civil War three years. And when he came back, he handed over to him. Even Emeka Ojuku that led the war, the 13 properties his father had in a, a place called Ikoi in Lagos, we are all handed over back to him. What is all this madness? It is high time we cool down. Nobody hates you. Nobody wants to stop you. Politics is about campaign and, and spirituality. Ahmed Tinumbu have the right. Ahmed Tinumbu have the right to vie for presidency. Pankwanso have the right to vie for presidency. I think we have the right to vie for presidency. None of these people is representing a tribe. If you feel that Peter program and plans are better, market him very well. But all these things that the Yorubas are against us, they want to stop us from being the president. It's a fallacy. I don't believe it. Market your own candidate in peace. Stop all these things that because there will be life after 2023. And most of the time, we might be even be endangering the lives and property of our brethren who are living here by our utterances, by our writing, and by our action. So, is it not high time somebody will now begin to say enough is enough?